hello guys welcome again to the channel so guys on today's video we're going to be looking at the top 10 best cow breeds for milk production in the world so if you're looking for the cow breeds to use to start your dairy cattle farm probably you want to uh, open up a dairy farm for the production of milk for the production of yogurt or for the production of cheese or other things you know that has to do with milk so this video is for you we're going to do a rundown of the top 10 best cow breeds for producing milk in the world from number 10 to the first so let's get into the video the number 10 is the jack cow the jack cattle is a zebu breed of cattle which originated in india it is also known as desan bodali or gujarati this cow breed is mostly used for milk production it is known for its rounded and doomed head long pendulous ears and horns they are either yellow red or white in color at maturity these cows reach 385 kg in weight and 130 cm in height the average milk yield for the cow breed for this cow breed is 1590 liters per lactation but it has a record production capacity of 3182 liters which has 4.5 percent fat the ninth on our list is the cementa cow. The cementa cow is a dual purpose cattle breed as it is used for both beef and milk. It is named after the cementa, which is the valley of the Sime River in the Benis Oberland in Canton of Bern in Switzerland. It is reddish in color with white markers. Milk yield registered in cementa cows in Serbia, according to select, selected reports, ranges from 4,000 liters to 500,000 to 5,000 liters. In standard lactation at maturity cemental cows weigh 900 kg number eight on our list is the Aussie red cow the Aussie red cattle breed was brought about by crossing other Australian red cattle breeds such as Aisha Mercury Shorthorn and white hostess with Australian red breeds the Aussie red is known for its high milk quality it has traits such as ease of calving high fertility disease resistance and so many others the Aussie red can produce an average of 3,000 kg of milk per lactation. At maturity, these cows weigh 380 kg. The number 7 on our list is the Normandy cow. The Normandy cow is a, is a breed of dairy cattle which originated, originated from the Normandy region of northwest France. It is raised basically for milk production as its milk yield is high in fats. And is one of the best when it comes to making butter and cheese at maturity these cows weigh 800 kg the normandy cows are known for their red pied or speckled coat colors their head is often white in color whereas their skin is white and their mouth is dark the normandy is resistant to sun damages and calves easily Colombia currently has the largest population of Normandy cows with over 380,000 heads. At lactation, the Normandy cows produce 6,595 liters of milk, which has 4.4% fat and 3.6% protein, which is also preferably used for making butter and cheese. The number six on our list is the milk, milking shorthorn. The milking shorthorn is a British breed of dairy cattle which was developed from the shorthorn breed. At maturity, these cows, the cows of this breed weigh 680 kg and their height is 55 inches. Their colors are red, red with white markings or own, or own color. During lactation, this cow breed produces 7,000 kg of milk which contains 3.8% fat and 3.3% crude protein. This cow breed is known for high fertility high fertility level, grazing efficiency, and ease of management, and also ease of calving. On our list is the Aisha cattle breed. The Aisha is a dairy cattle which originated from Aisha in southwest England. At maturity, this cow breed weighs 600 kg. The Aisha cattle breed is a medium-sized cattle breed, and at lactation, they produce 9,100 kg of milk or more. This cow breed is red. And white in color. The fourth on our list is the Guernsey cat cow breed. The Guernsey is a breed of dairy cattle from the island of Guernsey in the Channel Islands. It is fawn or red in color or white in color and it is hardy and docile. 
At majority, the Guernsey cows weigh 500 kg. They are known as small sized cattle breed, and they are also known for qualities such as grazing efficiency, ease of calving, and efficient milk production. They are used majorly for milk production. Their milk has a golden yellow tint due to a high content of vitamin A. The Guernsey produces 6,000 kg of milk per lactation, and it contains 5% butter fats and 3.7 crude protein. The third on our list is the Brown Swiss. The Brown Swiss is an American breed of dairy cattle. It originated from the Alpine region of Europe. This cattle breed is of medium size and the coat is usually light grayish brown. The muzzle is black and ringed with creamy white. The brown sweet this the brown sweet produces an average of 7080 kg of milk per lactation. At maturity, this cow weighs 640 kg. Number 2 cattle breed on our list is the Jesse cow. The Jesse cow is a British breed of dairy cattle from Jesse in the British Channel Islands. This cow breeds weigh 500 kg at maturity. It is known for qualities such as ease of calving, high fertility, high butter fat and protein. The Jesse cows can produce up to 10,000 liters of milk per lactation and their milk has 4.84% 4, 4 butter fat and 3.95% protein. The number one on our list is the Hosten Freshian. The Hosten Freshian is a breed of dairy cattle which originated from the Dutch provinces of North Holland and Friesland and also it, it has origin from Schwestig Hosten in Northern Germany. The Hostens are known for as the world's highest producers of milk and they are also the most widespread cattle breed in the world as they are found in over 150 countries. The Hostens are black and white colored, while some are white or red in color, but the red colors are usually rare. The Hosten Freshians produce an average of 10,220 kg of milk per lactation and their milk contain 3.7% butter fat and 3.1% protein. At maturity, the Hosten cows weigh 770 kg. So that's it on today's video. So like I always say, make sure you subscribe, make sure you follow the channel, make sure you like this video, make sure you ask your questions in the comment section. I'm always open to answer every question, even the one you consider to be stupid. Ask me, I'll answer it. So guys, thank you for watching today's video and see you guys in the next video. Ciao!